Fuzzy Bird, welcome back to Mario Kart Wii. Today, we are continuing through 50cc with a couple more cups. These should be the last two cups of 50cc, so it's pretty intense. And of course, we are playing as my personal favorite princess in the Mushroom Kingdom. That is going to be Princess Peach. We'll start with 50cc right over here, and then right over this way. Okay. Princess Peach. So, we have the choice between the Standard Card M, Classic Dragster, and Wild Wing. We'll start with the Standard Card M, see where it goes from now. There, we'll get the manual. And yeah, right over this way, we have more of the Classic Cups. This is the Leaf Cup, which has DS Desert Hills, GBA Bowser Castle 3, Nintendo 64 DK's Jungle Parkway, and GameCube Mario Circuit. Let's give it a try. So we're starting with DS Desert Hills. Got the angry sun up in the sky. Oh boy. This is a pretty cool track, but definitely can be really hectic, really, really crazy. Let's see if we can maybe get another win here. We've been doing pretty well overall when it comes to the 50cc cups. I wanna finish it off in style here with Princess Peach though, for sure. I think for right now I just need to, yep, grab that and get the drifting. Pretty wide turn, but I'll pull out all those bananas and just try to blow the competition away. So far, so good. Uh-oh, somebody zoomed by me in a bull bill, it's Bowser. <laughs> Not happening, buddy. All right, getting over here. Gotta watch out for the pokies wiggling through. But yeah, of course, we, we know a little bit about this track because we raced it in Mario Kart DS. Come on, let's get through here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Luckily, I had the banana for that one. Yeah, definitely pulling off some good drifts so far. I just wanna grab that, and then, okay, hold up that green shell while I grab another item. Whoa! Definitely building up a good lead now. Okay, yeah, we actually pretty significantly far ahead as these little lava guys jump around. I think that's probably from the angry sun, right? Got it. So if we had mushrooms, there's a lot of corner cuts we can take here, but Unfortunately, we don't, so I'm just gonna have to drift pretty well. The characters are keeping up back there. Like, we've built up some of a lead, but it looks like they haven't been able to close in any more than that. Okay, let's go over here. So between the last couple of episodes and this one, I did switch over before. I, I thought I had a Wii Classic controller and I didn't. So I, I was using the Wii remote. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> I was using the Wii Remote and a Nunchuck, which was sort of an awkward way to play for sure, but um, now I'm actually using the Wii Classic controller. The thing is though, I don't know if there's a way to do tricks uh, with the Wii Classic controller. There's gotta be a way. I just don't know if it's just pressing a button, if it's shaking the controller. I don't think this thing has motion controls. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And the blue shell, yikes. They really got me there, but I, I guess I did build up a decent lead after all because we are still pretty far ahead of everybody. So if I can just stay close to this corner, just like that, got it. All right, we got this peach, we're just gonna drift through here. And boom, so far so good, the blooper. Everything trying to put a stop to me. But not on my watch. We got a race to win. Okay. I'll put that banana down so that I can drift through, get another item with my green shell too. But with the final stretch coming in, I see the finish line in the distance. Oh, grab that wrap mushroom. Okay, very cool. I might get there before. Whoa, no. Oh, that was so, so close. I mean, luckily, we were so far ahead that it barely even matters. But man, imagine if we were close to an opponent there, that would have been a disaster. So it's a good thing we raced really well up until then. We have 15 points added to our score and we're ready for the next race. Okay, so GBA Bowser Castle 3, of course, from Mario Kart Super Circuit. This is a fun one. This actually might be one of my more favorite Bowser style tracks from the 2D Mario Kart games. Let's give it a go. We just gotta keep this lead. I'm sure Bowser is the one that's most familiar with this castle, but I can only imagine that at this point, Princess Peach is pretty familiar with it too. <laughs> with how often she gets kidnapped, do you think she might know our way around a little bit? So hopefully we can keep ahead of the competition here. Grab that one. 
and then, oh no. Oh no! Ooh, just barely made it past. So, I don't know how to do the trick. What button do I need to press? It's definitely gonna be a button. Uh, is it, not that one. Is it, no? Is it, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I can't do a trick when I'm, that'd be so weird. Huh. There's gotta be a way to do a trick with the classic controller. I'll have to figure it out. I mean, yeah, you can't like shake it. <laughs> I'm really confused by that. I thought it would be just pressing the item button, but, cause that's what it is in Mario Kart 8. I don't know, we'll figure it out. For right now though, I just need to drift through this. And if I just get solid drifting, I don't think it matters too much. There we go. Solid drifting will definitely help us through this one. I mean, maybe it's the Y button? The one thing I don't like about the, the class controller, oh my, yeah, throw that backwards, I'm gonna get blasted anyways, uh, is that the Y button is like, the buttons are just sort of spread out in a weird way. It's sort of an odd controller. I can see how they never really made another one like this. Whoa. Like it's sort of like the Super Nintendo controller, but also sort of not. I dropped all my mushrooms there. They definitely could have been helpful. We're getting a bit more ahead. Oh my gosh, we're getting, we're getting zapped, we're getting all sorts of stuff. So let's try this. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to do tricks <laughs> with this controller. Okay, watch out for the thwomps. We're doing really well through the course so far. Not as well as last time, but still not bad. Okay. Every time I get ahead though, somebody knocks me out. Uh oh, uh oh, ah, uh, this is exactly what I mean. Gotta drift through this part and just build up a lead as soon as possible because they aren't gonna let up, let up on that in this third lap. Ready, banana here. And we're pretty far ahead. I mean, luckily 50cc is pretty easy, but you just never know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, it might get more difficult, especially, oh my gosh, with the millionth pal block this, this race. Come on, green shell right there. We're drifting through as fast as I can. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, I was trying to hit the mushroom, darn. <laughs> That would have been really good to get. I think that was my mushroom, too, from earlier. Got it. Throwing that backwards, holding out the banana, jumping there was a really bad idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure. But I'll keep going, just like that. Move it, move it, move it. They're really trying to catch up to me here on this last lap, and I can't let it happen. Big jump through there into a drift. Put that right there just to make it so that if anybody else is trying to cut that corner, they're gonna have a hard time. Got that drift right there. Dodge some of the dirty spots on the track that'll slow us down. Another item right there. Really just try to congest the track with items. Now we're building up that lead again. I think we're gonna be fine. I would like to get through before a blue shell shows up. Throw that straight backwards and, oh, I hit somebody with it, I think. There we go. So two tracks down so far. Peach is doing fantastic. That's 30 points in total. Let's get another two done to finish off this cup. All right, so next race, right over here. So we have a Nintendo 64 DK's Jungle Parkway. This is a classic track for sure. Got the steamboat over there too. This one's really fun. And I think this one wasn't added on any of the previous Mario Kart tracks since Mario Kart 64. So this is like the first time we saw it get remade. And it's a pretty cool one because of that. I think it's been added to Mario Kart Tour since then. We got a banana right here. It's just gonna keep drifting. Really wide turn, but if we just yeah, drift like that, boom. And then super jump over here. Whoa, boom, big landing. Get those drifts wherever I can, even if it's just a little blue one like that. Still makes a big difference. And we get a red shell all the way out in front. Was not expecting that. Oh man, oh man, <laughs> not good. That drift I did not take super well. 
Okay, getting through here. I'm just gonna throw the banana out. We'll have the red shell ready if we need it. And this bridge is super, super narrow. We need to be careful about that one. And if we had a mushroom, we can skip this corner really fast, but unfortunately we don't. So I'm just gonna get the bananas out. We'll keep moving through. Uh-oh, uh-oh. For a second I thought that was the red shell that I threw. <laughs> it's like, how did it start locking onto me? Well, you can see everybody cheering us on from on top of the steamboat, that's pretty cool. Throw all my items out because we're gonna get hit anyways. Oh my gosh. Oh, not another one. I hear it, I hear it, wait. Don't get me! Wow. Wario really trying to catch up to me right now and I'm not gonna let it happen. We're zooming through here, over the steamboat, putting the show on for everybody. We're getting over this way, ow. We get zapped, but so did everybody else, I think. Except for Wario, Wario did not get zapped. Oh no. Got this banana. Drifting over here. Nice, back to normal size. Almost got it. Yeah, as we're getting more cups down here, I hope we do unlock more cart pieces soon. I feel like we haven't unlocked too many. This isn't like Mario Kart 8 where we need to unlock cart pieces through getting a bunch of coins. We just sort of complete cups and different things and I think that's how we get the carts. But, I can drift through here. Through the mysterious little cave. And we are about to head into the final lap. Okay, here we go. Very close to the, the water there. Don't wanna get into the river, it's gonna be not so good when it comes to staying in front of our competition. There we go. Littering the track with the bananas. At this point, I don't know how concerned I should actually be with holding my items, just because it seems like I'm gonna lose them anyways. A lightning strike is gonna happen, or a blue shell, or a power block. I'm just gonna throw them out whenever I can. Red shells seem to happen less commonly than those other items do, so. I think just having items all over the place might just be the better move. Another banana. Keep it moving. Got it. Okay, as soon as I say that, as soon as I say that, guess what happens? Now I feel silly. Maybe I'll hold one item. It's my own red shell. Okay. Yep, I guess I was wrong before. The game really wanted me to know that. Okay, boosting through. We are so close to the end here. Watch out, Blue Shell! Not happening this time. Awesome. Able to cross the finish line before it dive bombs on us. That is 15 more points for a total of 45, which of course means we're still in the lead. One more race to go for this cup. So, it's gonna be GameCube Mario Circuit. Definitely one of my favorite classic tracks in this game. Okay. So we can drift like crazy through this one. Definitely one of the more memorable tracks for me out of Mario Kart Double Dash 2. When we played that not too not too long ago. It was a couple of years ago now, but not like forever ago. Okay. Drifting through this end. Definitely gotta get used to it on this first lap. Watch out for the chain job! Come on! I thought I could get around to everybody getting hit by it. That was pretty crazy. Yeah, let's try to slipstream behind some of the opponents like King Boo just did. Oh man, back in the lead. But now I know that Chain Chomp is out to get us. I'll put this down there. Nobody ran into it this time. The Piranha Plants on the side are gonna try jumping at us too. Not a blue shell again. Get closer to King Boo if I can. Nope, not happening. King Boo steals the lead once more. Okay, getting through here. Watch out for the Goombas. Not good, not good. Okay, Wario takes out all of my items. Not good, but we're in the lead here as we head into lap two. I need to win this one. We gotta get the perfect four wins. I'll hold out the banana. And then, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> my angling was just all wrong with it. The lead getting stolen from me again, this time by baby Mario. King Boo's been a part of the competition the entire time. Watch out, watch out. Got it. Oh, I get a mushroom this time. I definitely want to use that for a cool shortcut if we can find any. All right. Ready. 
Start drifting through here. Really cut this corner close. We got it, we got it. And then right through here. Whoa, whoa, ah, into the Goomba. I'm just gonna use the Mushroom Might right like that. Catch up a bit with it. Cause I don't see any kind of shortcuts besides like little corner cuts. Maybe after this big turn there probably would have been one from how this looks on the map, like right here. But no, there's just the big Mario text in the way for that. So yeah, I guess there isn't a major mushroom shortcut unless I wanna try to use it to avoid the chain chomp some more. Speaking of which, we're totally fine. I finally get a roundup. No big chomp taken out of us this time. Gonna keep drifting, and that's our chance to really build up a lead. I'll put some bananas around. Princess Peach makes really cute expressions when she throws this out. And we're almost there. I keep getting sent flying from this. And oh, I dodged a Goomba this time. Awesome. There we go, there we go. And I throw this back, I put the banana down, and boom, we have won another cup. Princess Peach is so happy about it. We have 60 points in total. That is just peachy. So as you can see, we got a lot of stuff going on. We should be able to head to the victory ceremony now. And with this one, it's a nice sunny day. We really tore up all these tracks against King Boo and Wario, but those two heavyweights can't keep up with the dashing Princess Peach, right? <laughs> so there we go. I like how her hair sort of flies in the wind too. That's a pretty cool little detail. I don't think we really saw that in any of the other Mario Kart games up until now. All right, so yeah, another cup one. This was our second to last one, so we're getting through it really, really well. Princess Peach takes the first place on the podium. That's a really cool trophy. I like that one a lot. We'll get two stars as our rank. I will gladly take that. And congratulations, you can now play the Lightning, or the 50cc Lightning Cup. Oh, and that's not all, congratulations. You've unlocked a medium cart, the Super Blooper. So the types of carts are, of course, sort of determined by the weight. So we might be able to try that one now. I think that Princess Peach is a medium. So we'll be heading into the next cup now. So we're gonna be going and playing the cup we just unlocked here in 50cc, the last one of 50cc with Princess Peach. And we'll be using our brand new cart, the Super Blooper. I really like the color details in this in pink. Of course, it's like a blooper, but now it also has the wheels on there too. Very cool. So with that, we'll go to manual and we will try the Lightning Cup, the final cup of this difficulty. We have SNES Mario Circuit 3, DS Peach Gardens, GameCube DK Mountain, and N64 Bowser's Castle. All right, let's go. So this is an all time classic track, Mario Circuit 3. It's just, we've seen this so many times in different Mario Kart games, most memorable for the first ever Mario Kart game. And let's get it going. I at least wanna win this cup, but if we could aim once again for a three-star finish, I'd be really happy with that. Wow, I get the triple Koopa shell, I'll hit one out of me with the Yoshi goes flying. We got racers right behind me. Come on, let's just keep up with all the action as we head into this straightaway. I wanna drift right about now. This is a pretty tight turn. That Koopa shell, the red shell, tried to get me. Not gonna happen. The music here is so good too. There's this, I don't know, lots of good memories for these tracks. Whoa, 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 whoa. There goes a red shell, not gonna get me though. I think I wanna throw that one backwards. Oh no, the lightning strikes me. Take the speed boost though to get it a little bit farther ahead and that'll be the first lap done. Yeah, Princess Peach is looking really good in this uh, blooper cart. Oh no, okay. I think I might've hit one of those green pipes. That was very lucky for me. And I will try to be really sneaky, put it right in front of the other items. And we get a banana. Got it. Let's try to drift over here a little bit. I think I can, Oh, look at this. Whoa, so lucky. 
I can't believe that happened. Even if we get hit by a, a blue shell now, I don't even mind. That was like the luckiest mushroom drop ever, just right in front of the shortcut for me to take. So cool. We got the final lap now. I've been cruising in the lead so much. I'll hold out another question block here. I think I didn't I didn't really mean to throw it like that, but we'll keep going. And we got the triple banana to protect me. So if I can just drift through that now, whoa, watch it. And we get another one of those. So no mushroom this time. Not too surprising. I just hope we don't get hit by a blue shell again as I plop down some bananas. The blooper coming in, shouldn't be a problem. And boom, a super solid win for our first track of this cup. We were like half a track ahead there. 15 points, no problem. Seven second lead, looks really good. So, next race. And what a fitting one it is. It is DS Peach Gardens. I'm glad that we're playing Princess Peach for this one. This one, I don't know, has like such a visual upgrade from the DS version, which is to be expected. But seeing how I just played Mario Kart DS not too long ago, I feel like that's the one that I'm like, whoa. It looks so different now. The next generation of Mario Kart. <laughs> At least it was in 2007, I think. Somewhere around there. Yeah, let's win this race here at Peach Gardens. We were talking about familiarity before. Sure, Princess Peach might be a little bit familiar with uh, Bowser's Castle, but I think she'll be super familiar with her own garden. I wonder if she grows it herself, or is it like named after her? This is quite a big garden, after all. Sure, she gets help from the toads that live at the castle. Uh oh, watch out for all these chain chomps, but some of them have items trailing them, so I can grab one of those and then just drift through the flowers, I guess. Didn't really mean to do that. Okay, I'll throw some of this stuff back because we do have more items coming up. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> not the best drift. Gotta be honest, there we go. Watch out for the moles, the Monty moles. And then, whoa. Okay, I don't think I can jump off of these ones. I think you can in the updated version of this in Mario Kart Tour and in, uh, whoa, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the booster course pass, but I don't think you can do that here. You can't jump off the Monty Mole things. Drifting through here though for the second lap. Got it. I'll put a banana down right there. And we're just sort of cruising through. And I'll be able to block that red shell. No problem. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. I'll just go through here. Honestly, we sorta of got some air time out of it, so I skipped most of the garden patch. Could have been worse. Could have been a whole lot worse. So I'm happy with that one. No complaints from me. And then I'll hold this out. I'll drift all the way over. We're keeping a solid lead, even though I haven't been doing like a perfect race through this. I haven't been pulling off too many red Spark drifts. There we go. Got it. Oh, drifting all over the place for this one. All those mini boosts. Very, very cool. I'm gonna put this down and this one right here. Okay, so three out of three, the final lap for Peach Gardens. And oh no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. We almost did. That would have been bad. <laughs> Luckily, we have such a lead that it probably still wouldn't have mattered, but. I'll hold this banana out, and I'm drifting through this one. I'm really trying to race a good race so that we can maybe get a triple star finish, because as far as I understand, it's a varying thing between each Mario Kart game. What counts as a three star finish? Sometimes it's just getting first place every race, but sometimes in a game like this, you need to get like a good boost at the start of the, you know, the, the rate race starting counter, and you need to not get hit by obstacles. You need to not get hit by an exceeding amount of items. Like, all that kind of stuff adds up to your final rating. And like I said before, I don't think there's anything we need three stars to unlock anything for, so it's not like I'm going to be getting it every time. But if I could get it at least once, I'd be pretty happy with that. So let's get over here, and I get triple banana. They still have like no chance of catching up to us now, so I'm just going to drift through this, get a big boost, and then, oh no. There we go, there we go. Boom, let's finish this race. Awesome. Good job, Peach.
you did do it indeed. That is halfway through the Lightning Cup now, so we got two more tracks left to go. Let's get to it. This time around, it's GameCube Donkey Kong Mountain. This is another one that's really notorious from uh, Mario Kart Double Dash, but it's been in all sorts of Mario Kart since then, because it's such a famous track. I definitely enjoyed this one. So, three, two, one, and boom. Let's grab that there. Whoa, watch it, that was a little bit too much of a turn. I'll get this one out. And does it have the Donkey Kong picture up there, I think? I think it did. We're going, whoa! All right, to the very tippity top of the angry volcano, and then all the way back down again. Okay. So I was thinking, oh, there it is. We need to use the directional buttons. It wasn't any of the like face buttons on the controller. That's what I was missing. And that makes sense too, because I think we need the face buttons for the motorcycle too, which we haven't seen yet, because it's not available in 50cc. But whoa, I can launch off of here. I didn't get any trick for it, but that's okay. Come on, come on. Going through this one. All these rocks rolling down the mountainside. I gotta avoid those at all costs. Whoa, we almost got pulverized by that. That would have been bad. Keep it going, Peach. And if we stay on the side of this, can we do any tricks? I guess not. Once again, some of those elements, I guess were added later on in other iterations that I didn't even realize. I just sort of thought it would be here. The DK Cannon. That's what the sign says. I didn't know if they said DK Cannon or DK Conga or something. There we go, throw that out there. I might hit somebody. Ooh, the Pal Block isn't even gonna affect me. That's really lucky. Yeah, that's one of those spots whenever you're getting like a super boost of some sort, whoa, you want it to be when you're on one of those that you get hit by a lightning strike or a a pal block because it just won't affect you at all. And then it gives you the chance to get even farther ahead if you were already in first. So that's pretty cool. Okay, watch out, Luigi. I'm sorry, but that's this is our race to win. Watch out for the, the rocks, though. Got it. Big drift over here. We want to go wide and then cut in. Just like that. Okay, same thing. We go really wide at the beginning of the turn and then cut in early so that we can actually make it through some of these turns. Now this one, I can't avoid it, I'm gonna get hit by it. We'll get back down, and it's just one more lap after this rickety swinging bridge. So scary! Now I'm pressing the button, and we're not getting a trick out of it. That's okay. Final lap. Okay, over there, again? Really? That's a little excessive, don't you think? Let's pick up some speed. Once again, I wanna spend as much time as I possibly can in first place. Got it. This last lap is looking to be pretty challenging. Go, go, go. They are not too far behind. So if I can instantly start in a drift. Got it. Make sure I do the tricks off these two. Whoa. Got it. And this last one. Princess Peach with the crazy moves. The tricks are a really fun addition. Of course, that's um the first this is the first Mario Kart game with the tricks. And I really like it. It just adds like that little bit of extra flair. I think there's a lot of things like that where I say that Mario Kart Wii is sort of one of the first quote unquote modern Mario Kart games. That doesn't mean it's the first like good Mario Kart game. But this game introduced a lot of the mechanics that if you took them away from the new Mario Karts, like Mario Kart 8, it would feel wrong. If you took trick jumps out of Mario Kart, it just wouldn't feel right anymore. It's just a staple of it. And a lot of those kind of concepts were introduced in Mario Kart Wii. Anyways, we won this race as, as I was babbling on about how cool this game is. That means we have one track left to go before we're fully finished with 50cc. So let's get to it. So, it is going to be the intense Bowser's Castle. Whoa, so we're not ending it off with a Rainbow Road of any sort. It's just Bowser's Castle yet again. We saw an SNES one before, but this one of course is from Mario Kart 64. All right, Peach, we got this. And boom, we're going. So, a lot of racers here, of course. 
But I think if we avoid the angry Bowser statue spewing fire at us, we can get a good start here. The thwomps too. Pretty crazy. Watch out for these swamps. These are the ones that chase us, right? Whoa, whoa, they're gonna try to stop right in front of us. Luckily able to avoid it. Oh man, and then I can grab maybe one of these items. Got it. Well, I threw the Koopa shell backwards. If I'm lucky, that might hit an opponent. Ooh, watch out for this. And then I can't do a trick off of that or this. Those are the little things you absolutely can do a trick on in later Mario Kart games. So it's weird that like, you know, I'm pressing the button there, it's not working. <laughs> I'm so used to that kind of thing, working. Whoa, this part's scary. All right, keep it going. Definitely get the big boost there. And then here I can certainly do a trick, right? There we go, awesome. What do I get for my item? It's gonna be another banana. And then I can drift through here. Got it, can I get a red one? There it is, first lap, starting things off really good. Uh oh, oh, I was gonna do that. <laughs> there you go. Bowser trying to burn us to a crisp. No thank you, oh no. Not much can do to avoid that one, so throw my bananas out and keep it moving. Okay, these thwomps, they're after me. Ooh, I know how they work though. Ooh, I just barely avoided all that. Scary, very scary. Ooh, and I got that just in time, so we get even more items now. Ooh, watch out for the thwomp. So many thwomps all over the place. All these pictures, they're all the same picture of Bowser on the wall. I can just imagine Bowser just like building a castle. Like, oh, this is my picture room. I want four pictures, the identical same pictures of me. You could have had, you know, four different pictures of different poses and stuff. No, it was just all the same one. He just got the photocopier out. So funny. All right, put some bananas down. Hold out the screen shell so we can pick up more stuff. Just trying to make the track a bit more treacherous for our competition. And look at this, luckily enough, we get even out. Even more items. Wish it didn't dunk the wall there, but it's okay. We are still really far in the lead. I hold the bananas out. And we finish this race off with one last lap here through Bowser's Castle. Let's keep it moving. Avoid these thwomps as we have before. This turn's a little scary. We make it though. There we go, there we go. Got it. I think I just want to, yep, go like this. That was a pretty solid drift. Whoa, <laughs> almost threw that banana right in front of me. Ooh, that was a crazy close one. Definitely seems like we're hitting some people with their items. Princess Peach is celebrating over something. As we go through the picture room again, Gonna hold that Koopa shell out. And uh, I guess drift over here. Got it. And let's get all the way up this spire. There we go. Gonna do a crazy trick. I think there was a red shell coming for me and I hit it with the green shell there just by chance. Oh, we're hitting people all over the place, but no, if that power block could have activated a little bit sooner, we would have gotten hit by it. It's okay, because look at how far ahead we are. There's no chance we're getting anything less than first place. So the win streak continues two cups in a row where we get a full 60 points. That's great. All right, I guess we're good for the, uh, the victory. Little podium, whatever it's called. The celebration. For the final time in 50 CC, we are able to get the win. So we'll have a full set of eight trophies here. I all look nice on a little trophy rack, right? Our competition of Luigi and Baby Peach could not keep up with all of our crazy drifting in this blooper cart. Well, good job, princess. I don't think Bowser's ever gonna catch you again if you keep racing that fast. And everybody's cheering. All right, that was really good. Let's take a look at our trophy. Whoa, you got first place in the Lightning Cup and we only get two stars. What does it take to get three? Who knows? 
But with that done, do we get anything cool unlocked? We get the credits! So yeah, after you get all of the cups done, it doesn't really matter the difficulty, you'll get the credit sequence of the game. So technically this is the end, but it's not really. Oh, I'm also noticing that my me is at the Luigi Circuit icon there <laughs> with the big sign. And it just it sort of has like this cinematic racing through Luigi Circuit as Princess Peach. This is so cool. Now I don't know if these credits change at all between this and the other difficulties, so we might as well give it a quick watch here. Drift around with Luigi, that's pretty cool. Yeah, this is obviously not the end of our adventure, even though it sort of seems like it with all these credits. This game is so much fun and there's still so much more to play. We'll be basically doing this all again, but in 100, 150 in mirror mode. So we have a lot of tracks, a lot of cups, a lot of characters to play and cart pieces to unlock. It is such a jam-packed game and we still have so much more to go. So yeah. Let's keep going through this little adventure. You can see all the other racers. I think part of that same thing. Look at the formation. This is cool. There I am. I think it was Luigi before when we raced it, but now it's me. All right, that's my me. But uh, we got the, the cheap, cheap balloon here too. The song is so good too, it's so relaxing. I feel like Nintendo made a lot of games around this time, the Wii era that were just super duper relaxing in an interesting way. This game, uh, Mario Galaxy, Wii Sports, they have this really chill vibe to them that I like a lot. But there we go. We were able to complete every single cup in 50cc. But we're not quite done. The credits get more dynamic. I think it just shows different screenshots over gameplay here as it plays increasingly exciting music. So I don't think there's really too much more to miss here. It's really cool though. Like I said, I wanna watch the credits at least one more time. So I mean, one time throughout this series. So we might as well watch it now. But uh, yeah, this has been a pretty cool game so far. I loved it growing up. This one at Mario Kart DS were the two that I grew up playing personally. I don't know which ones you guys did, you can always let me know. But uh, these were the ones I played when I was really young and just are what Mario Kart is to me. So they definitely hold a big place in my heart when it comes to Mario Kart. But obviously everything before and after this has been so great. We've been playing them all in order and we're just you know continuing to chuck along. That's pretty good. I think there was also a pretty impressive selection of not only there's really good new courses in this game, but the classic courses were some good choices for sure. The only thing I think is maybe a weak spot is they probably should have added a classic Rainbow Road. We had Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road. If we had N64 there, like Bowser's, Bowser's Castle is cool, but it is sort of weird how we got two Bowser's Castle, the SNES one or the Super Circuit, whatever it was, as well as the, um, the one we just played, the N64 one. I feel like maybe one of those could have gone, and we could have gotten a either Mario Kart 64 Rainbow Road, a Super Nintendo one, but they do make up for that. Of course, in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we have like every single Rainbow Road just about, so it balances out by the end of it. We're still racing through here. The music is so good in this game, it's crazy. Just vibing out to it. And the only mechanic that I feel like they added here that didn't really stick around too much was the super jumps on the side, the little half pipes. Awesome, so that's the end of the credits there. I don't know if we'll sit back and watch that every time, but I figured the first time, congratulations. <laughs> There's my me. I love that, it's so silly. So there we go, we got to the end. Do you wanna send a commemorative photo to the Wii message board? I don't think that exists anymore. But uh, the commemorative photo has been sent to the Wii message board. If you send too many commemorative photos, the space allotted for data on the Wii message board will fill up. When the Wii message board is full, the system will delete messages to free up space starting from the oldest available. I didn't know that. Please continue to enjoy Mario Kart Wii. Maybe we'll check that out at some point, but for right now, you won the Lightning Cup on 50cc. Congratulations, you have unlocked Diddy Kong. Great to see you, Diddy. 
All right, that's awesome. And we're not quite done. You scored one star in the entire Retro Grand Prix on 50cc. Congratulations, you've unlocked a small cart on or the cheap charger. Awesome. It is cool to get some new cards. It adds a lot of variety. And we're not quite done because we won trophies in all cups on 50cc. Congratulations, you can now play the 50cc Grand Prix carts and bikes. That is so cool. So we can ride bikes in 50cc if we wanted to, but I don't know if we will. I think at this point we'll be jumping up in difficulty to 100cc starting in the next episode of Mario Kart Wii. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.